go ahead and hold your hand out in front of you and look at it carefully. The human hand is made up of four fingers and one thumb. Have you ever thought about how much you use your thumbs? Today's activity will help you understand the importance of your thumb for doing simple everyday activities. So go ahead and examine your hands again. Move your thumb and your fingers to find out how your thumb moves differently than your other fingers. Fingers and toes are called digits. The thumb is the shortest, thickest digit on the human hand and moves in a different direction than the other digits. Human thumbs are called opposable thumbs. They are called opposable because the thumb can move around and touch the other fingers. This gives people the ability to grab onto things. An opposable thumb is a physical adaptation. An adaptation is a feature that helps a plant or animal survive in its habitat. Adaptations can either be physical, like our thumbs, a part of the body, or a behavior. So for today's activity, you're gonna need just a little bit of tape and a handful of everyday household objects. So the first thing that you're going to do is very lightly and very gently, you can either do this yourself or you can have somebody help you. You're just going to tape your thumb on whatever hand you use most. So if you're right-handed, tape your right thumb. If you're left-handed, tape your left thumb. Just very gently kind of tape it to the side of your hand. You don't want to tape it super tight because you don't want to affect the circulation in your hand. You just want to make it so that you can't use your thumbs. So now I have my thumb taped to my hand. I'm still able to wiggle and move all four of my other fingers. I'm going to give you a list of things that I want you to try with your thumb taped. These are going to include writing your name, putting your sock on, opening a door, things like that. I'm gonna ask you to tell me, did it take more time to do the task without your thumb? Did it take about the same time without your thumb? Or could you not do it at all without the use of your thumb? Here's what that's gonna look like. When you open up the link to today's activity, here's what you'll see. On the left, you see the list of things you need to do, and on the right, you'll check the boxes. Make sure that you check one for each row. Down here, you'll have to select an activity for these two questions, which one took the longest and which one uses your thumb the most. And finally, you'll answer these last two questions before you click Submit. Wow, I guess we use our thumbs a lot more than I guess I thought we would have. That's it for your activity today. I hope that you have a nice day. I hope you have a nice weekend. See you Monday.